David Daniel Ducker here, and today I wrote the final battle. Our daring heroes uh, are finally confronting the cult of the ancient ones and uh, the old gods and closing the portal into the far realms, the well of night, uh, into the outer void. So it's essentially a fight scene, an action scene, as it's been written here in draft one. Uh, that's why I haven't done a video in a little while, because uh, it's taken about three sessions to actually write it, uh, and it's come out to be in like seven, I'm going to say 7,000 words, so that's possible. So, and I actually rushed it. I should have uh, made it 8,000 words and better quality, because this is the worst first draft I've ever written. It's terrible, because I was rushing. So, I'm not going to do that again. But it is finished, and it will serve a platform and a framework for future drafts. So, you know, I've learned better um, who our villain is and what we're going to need to do with him in future drafts to make the scene pop properly. Uh, of course, Shinsuke ended up killing him in this draft um, during the, the fight. Shinsuke had his golem destroyed. Uh, Togi was killed which was my plan. The Golden Bean is was not my plan, but it actually it makes sense uh, narratively and in the in this specific scene. So I like that. I'm gonna keep that almost certainly. Uh, we also have Iode's dragon being killed. So she's now a dragonless dragon rider. Uh, I love that. And she has this tragedy now piled onto her. And of course, with her suffering, Cleonike will feel bad because Cleonike's virtually unscathed. Her man survived, her dragon survived, but her best friend lost her dragon. And of course, her man uh, lost his best friend. And Jamila has sacrificed herself to achieve this goal. Uh, that's something that, you know, I, I saw coming. I had planned ahead of time as soon as we were introducing Jamila as a character. Uh, and she's become a main character, but she wasn't really in the outline initially. Uh, she's just kind of added to uh, create some uh, some try-fail cycles, basically some more interest, some more meat in the, in the middle act. Uh, because we needed something more in the middle act than what I had. And, and now we've got a climax for her, so now I can go back in my next draft and... Uh, have a first act with more Jamila in it and really establish her even better from the get-go. And she's become like the, the other main character along, alongside Cleonike. So, you know, in a, in a kind of rambling way, that's what's happened in this scene. Uh, is Jamila and Kerferius, her dragon, have been uh, sealed into the far realm, into the outer void, because you know... If we're going to have an alternate dimension of evil, someone will be going in there and they won't be coming back. And it was her. She made the sacrifice, first sacrificing her body, and now her soul, her very soul, will be torn apart in that other realm. And Cleonike, who just hated Jamila for betraying her uh, previously, is now seeing the nobility in Jamila and saying maybe Jamila is not that bad. She fights so courageously. She sacrificed herself for me and for our cause. And she really, you know, is better than I thought. I've judged her too harshly and it's too late for me to say or do anything about it. So that's more burden on Cleonike. She has all this emotional burden um, that we leave her with. Uh, so I think that's a good kind of rundown of what happened in this scene because I try to keep these videos short. And I'll probably do another uh, a quick video on drafting and dev e editing and, and such so I can try to keep it like five minute videos. So thank you for uh, following along as I wrote draft one uh, and now we're going to start in on draft two. Uh, so in the comments below, uh, tell me about um, what you wrote, because this is a, a sharing community blog, I would hope. I want to know what you wrote today. Uh, and until I see you again, this is David Daniel Ducker signing off.